At different times, this car continually stirred the hearts of Russians. The Grand Cherokee MK2 was no exception, which at first was mistaken for a cheaper converted Mercedes ML, but then they really got to the bottom of it. Is the game worth the candle? Looks like yes. In the pre-styling period, until 2013, the car was brought to us with three gasoline engines and the only Italian 3-liter V6 diesel engine with a capacity of 241 horsepower. The latter, however, is considered not very reliable. The less powerful Mercedes diesel offered in Europe, although it was more capricious about fuel quality, deserved more warm reviews. But with gasoline units, everything was not so bad. The base, atmospheric V6 of the Pentastar series for 286 horses, with careful operation and maintenance, is able to please with the resource. He did not show an increased appetite for oil, and in general he was a good boy. The limited and overland versions supplied the legendary 5.7 Hemi with 352 horsepower. This one is considered a millionaire. The main thing is not to forget about 16 candles and follow a strict oil diet, pour only the recommended 5W20 at the frequency prescribed by the manufacturer, at least. And in 2011, everyone heard the inimitable sound of the SRT-8 version, or rather its 6.4-liter naturally aspirated V8, capable of 465 horsepower. This motor is rightfully considered a snake charmer, since it bought many of its owners with the sound of the exhaust. With 3.6 V6, diesel and 6.4 V8, at first there was an automatic, 5-speed Mercedes, the most reliable and strong of the others. With Hemi, they already offered the Chrysler AKP-5, which rarely upset with failures. In 2012, it was replaced by the no less reliable AKP-6. Well, the era of ZF-8 speed transmissions came only in 2014. These were naughty at first, twitching when switching down. And then the twitches completely disappeared. So where, you ask, to look for a catch? Americans do not exist without sores. From the Grand Cherokee, one would expect at least systemic failures of electrics and electronics, which turned out to be unprecedented in this car. And they are. Computer glitches are not rare guests here. True, most of these breakdowns cannot be called systemic either. For example, buggy navigation, unexpected, after washing. The failure of the audio system to play sound, the media system turning on or off chaotically, or wandering vagaries of the climate system such as a stuck damp. However, the headlight was unanimously recognized as a common weak point. Headlights melt from regular lamps. Among the common places, it may be worth mentioning the rusting contacts of the electric tailgate button. There are no serious complaints about the body, or rather, there is. If the body itself is very strong and sufficiently resistant to corrosion, and the paintwork is not considered thin and vulnerable, then there is a puncture with fittings. We are talking about chrome-plated parts, the coating of which quickly and very willingly peels off, blooms, letting any bad things out. Sooner or later, almost all owners of the Grand Cherokee are engaged in the restoration or replacement of chrome parts. Surprisingly, there are very few complaints about the interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Even about annoying crickets in internet forums you will not read often. Finishing materials turned out to be unexpectedly high quality, and in some places really overly hard plastic finishes seriously do not bother anyone. In addition, it resists wear well. So everything is fine here. However, we saved the Grand Cherokee's most frequent attack for last. This is so that you do not have the erroneous opinion that the American does not have serious problems at all. It has. And the main one is connected with the air suspension. Fortunately, not all cars were equipped with it. This is an option. But an option that is better to refuse in the secondary market. In the cold, the car falls on four bones and lies. The main reason is condensate and air springs. The manufacturer was tired of solving these problems. And after restyling in the CIS, cars with air suspension were no longer supplied. So, if you choose a car with a base engine, a 5-speed automatic and with an iron, real, suspension, then it will probably turn out to be the best option. But get ready, serving such a handsome man is not cheap. Parts are expensive. Suspension. Buying a car with air suspension is best avoided, there are many questions about it. With the iron, suspension is easier, although the cost of spare parts is not the lowest. The need to repair it is a reason for bargaining. However, a lot depends on the driving style of the previous owners. Iron seems to hold a blow on impassibility, but it does not have the strength resource of previous models. 
Transmission Automatic transmission diagnostics before purchase and readiness for repair with a run of 200 to 250,000 kilometers is a matter of course. The same applies to the all-wheel drive transmission. Failures of the control electronics are possible, as well as premature wear of the mechanical part due to the previous increased off-road loads. Engine. Diesel is afraid of low-quality fuel. TNVD suffers. It whistles when it fails. In such cases, experts recommend refueling at a proven gas station with fuel with detergent properties, and if it doesn't help, then go to an authorized service. Another misfortune is interruptions in the EGR valve cooling system. If it is damaged, the engine is unstable, the emergency indicator lights up and fuel consumption increases. Body. Alas, even on such a strong-looking car, many note an inexplicably fragile windshield. It cracks not only after hitting stones, but just like that. Sometimes it breaks through with the stone, and cracks not only along the outer layer, but also along the inner one, from the passenger compartment. If possible, it is recommended to change to a non-original one, it is more stable. Electrician. Headlights fog up due to unremoved ventilation plugs. Factory headlight bulbs ruin reflectors. There are few failures in the interior equipment, but the cabin electrics control unit in the heat may overheat and work incorrectly. The contacts of the rear door electric drive are rusting. Sometimes the onboard computer does not work correctly, which is cured by flashing. 